something that's been worked on for many, many years. Uh, it's uh, an amendment ordinance that makes numerous changes to the um, statutory regulation of insurance in Hong Kong. Uh, it's a substantial piece of legislation, uh, both in the, its content and in its length. It's over 500 pages long. And some of the key things that the amendment ordinance does, it creates an independent insurance authority as a separate body corporate, which is a change from the present. The insurance authority at the moment is a person, a uh, civil servant who's appointed by the uh, chief executive. It also expands the insurance authority's uh, powers to supervise uh, insurance companies in Hong Kong and also quite significantly uh, it places direct regulation of insurance intermediaries under the insurance authority. Uh, yes, it is a very significant change for the industry. Uh, I think implicit in the amendment ordinance is an expectation that uh, the industry is going to be much more regulated in the future. Currently, the focus of regulation is really on the insurance companies themselves, ensuring that they are solvent, uh, regulated in the type of businesses that they do. Uh, insurance intermediaries, who are the people that you and I would actually interact with in buying a policy, uh, are regulated by industry bodies. Um, so it's a self-regulatory system that's going to change. There'll be a significant change there where insurance intermediaries will now answer directly to the regulator in Hong Kong. Uh, there will also be uh, enhanced uh, inspection and discipline powers for the regulator. So big changes and at a practical level uh, the insurance company is going to have to pay for um, the insurance authority because it's going to be funded partially by the industry. Uh, and all the existing insurance agents and insurance brokers are going to have to uh, re-register and, and get licensed. Insurance Authority will be responsible for supervising insurance companies and insurance intermediaries who are brokers and agents uh, and also for setting standards of conduct in the insurance industry. So uh, it has an additional role which is more an educational role which is to promote understanding of insurance in the market, um, to protect uh, policyholders and also um, to contribute to financial stability in Hong Kong. There are a couple of uh, broad areas that the, the insurance authority's powers include. Um, so obviously authorising insurance companies, authorising uh, insurance intermediaries, but also powers to supervise and investigate and then take disciplinary action. Existing insurance companies ordinance already contains power for the insurance authority to receive information from insurance companies, uh, but these powers are going to be significantly enhanced, in particular in two areas. Uh, the insurance authority will have power to appoint inspectors who will be able to go on site to insurance companies and intermediaries and inspect their business and their activities. Um, and then the next step is the insurance authority will also have power to appoint investigators where they suspect essentially that something has gone wrong or there has been a breach of the ordinance or otherwise someone is not acting in an appropriate manner. Now these two uh, features of inspection and investigation are very similar to what happens in the securities market at the moment and so this is being brought across into the insurance industry. And so in that environment, what you would tend to see is inspection is used as an ongoing superv supervision tool. Uh, investigation is much more serious. Uh, it's where something is suspected has gone wrong and quite often it will lead to an enforcement action. It means that there's a lot more regulation for the industry. So that means that there will be more cost for insurers. Insurance intermediaries will have to get used to having probably a stronger regulator than they have had in the past, uh, so there will be time in developing their processes, their systems to ensure that they are appropriately compliant. So there's short term uh, costs involved for the industry. Longer term, this is uh, something that will strengthen the insurance industry in Hong Kong and will stre strengthen the reputation of the industry. And so ultimately, I think that's a good thing for Hong Kong and for, um, for the industry and for uh, Hong Kong policyholders as well. There's three stages uh, involved in implementing the amendment ordinance. The first is actually establishing the new insurance authority. So that's uh, going to take effect legally on the 7th of December this year. At that point, what will happen is the insurance authority will be established as a body corporate 
uh, they will appoint directors and then they will engage staff and, and set up their internal systems. So the second part is actually transferring the existing regulatory functions done by the, the Office of Commissioner of Insurance to the new insurance authority. Um, and that, so that's regulatory um, functions supervising insurance companies. That will take place uh, towards the end of 2016. And then the final stage is actually regulation of the insurance intermediaries. And that's a very big exercise because that means you, you've got thousands upon thousands of insurance agents and brokers in Hong Kong who will need to then be licensed under the new regime. So that, that is expected to start sometime in 2017.